All right, so listen, we got a special uh, review for you today. I brought out the uh, review brush shirt. Haven't uh, wore this shirt in, I don't know, three or four months, maybe even longer. It is a special occasion. I was able to get my hands on a uh, test market item from Burger King. We're going to check it out. I know you know. I know you know. I know you saw the thumbnail. I know you saw the title, but we're still going to try it out. Come along for the ride. I've always wanted to say that. Cue the intro. What is up, everyone? It is the endorsement, and it is time for another review. This is where I try something and tell you if you should like it or not. I can be very persuasive. Every time I wore the uh, review bra shirt, I feel like I'm poking them in the eye when I point to my chest. Uh, it is what it is. All right, so listen. I believe it's only in two uh, states in the United States, New Mexico and Alabama, where they have come out with an everything menu from uh, the folks over at Burger King, an everything seasoned uh, bun. Uh, they have the everything Whopper, they have the everything Royal Crispy Chicken Sandwich, and they have the everything breakfast sandwich. So you're going to get a bun with all the seasoning of an everything bagel. That is correct, and I was able to get, I was able to procure uh, one of these buns by airmail, and I was able to toast it, butter and toast it, and then I purchased a, a regular Whopper, and I transferred the Whopper to the new bun, giving you the everything Whopper. There's nothing else that's different, it's just the bun that makes it different. So let me show you the bun first. Check it out right there. That is an everything seasoned bun on the Whopper, slip slide it away. Ketchup, mayo, lettuce, white onions, has the uh, Whopper patty, and then you're going to have, like I said, this everything seasoned bun. So check it out right there. Like I said, there's nothing different inside the burger itself. Uh, you're just gonna have this new bun right there. It is still soft. Uh, it was sent to me uh, express. I think it took like two days and uh, we're gonna give it a shot. Should I try the bun first or should I, whoa. <laughs> Some of the uh, lettuce just escaped Shawshank. Whew. All right, so let's take a bite first of uh, the way it was intended. We're going to go right into this section right there. That's the section upside down. The more you turn me inside out and round and round. Shout out Diana Ross. We're bringing uh, a Diana Ross shout out back. I'm losing lettuce. You know how Burger King does with their lettuce, especially when it uh, mixes with all that mayonnaise and I forgot pickles. How did I forget pickles? We know what comes on a Whopper. There are pickles as well. All right, wish me luck. Test market item, the uh, everything Whopper. Let's take a bite. Here we go. Pickle. I have thoughts right off the bat. Hmm. All right, so this has everything that you're used to in a Whopper. Have the flame broiled goodness, all the toppings. I personally love uh, mayonnaise mixing with ketchup, giving it that little campfire sauce. I think that's what Red Robin calls it. Now I will tell you, this is a brioche bun with all of the uh, toppings on it right there. And what is actually in the toppings of an everything bagel? You have garlic, you have uh, poppy seeds, sesame seeds, uh, garlic, and salt. I believe those are the five. Um, yeah, so a uh, little drip drip. Um, so right off the bat, it does taste different than a normal Whopper, but at the same time, it wasn't hitting me all up over the head with a flavor of everything bagel. So we're gonna go in for a nice little bite of the actual uh, bun itself right there. See it? You see it? All right, let's take a bite. Yeah, there we go. The salt, garlic, a little crunch of the salt. Let me go in for another bite. Here we go. Whew. 
Whew. All right, so I'm out of breath, a little behind the scenes. Maybe I'll put some footage at the end of the video. Uh, right when I took that bite and I was going to come back and tell you about it, the fire alarm, not one, all seven fire alarms went off saying, too much smoke, fire, fire. I couldn't shut them off. I'm running around like a chicken with my head cut off. There's no fire. There's no smoke. There's nothing. Absolutely nothing. I don't know what was happening, but um, I'm tired. I'm winded now. Let's get back to the review. That was wild. All right, so listen, this is a prototypical Whopper. You get everything that you're used to. Now, the bun itself is uh, interesting. It has kind of like a bite through. You kind of have to kind of bite through it. Uh, it is fresh. It is a brioche bun. I just don't get all of this uh, everything bagel goodness with each bite. There's a lot going on in the burger, um, so I like it. I just want more. I wanted more from the topping. Maybe you could have done some on the bottom. I don't even know. Um, so I like it. Don't love it. I see where they're going with this. I wonder if it's going to pass the uh, test market test and then go national for everybody. Uh, we can see how it does in the test market. And if it does come out, it probably will come out uh, end of the year, beginning of next year. That's usually the uh, time frame. Uh, but it's okay. Not great. I was glad I was able to try it uh, because now I have some Something to compare it to if it does go national do they make some tweaks here and there do they even see this video hey hi hello Burger King if you see this video uh, I need more of the flavor of the everything seasoning there you go pretty simple um, let's give it a rating on a scale of 1 to 100 with 1 meaning don't even waste your money and 100 being the promised land of I'm going to give the Everything Whopper from Burger King Test Market via airmail a rating of... Um, I'm going to give it an 84. I'm going to give it an 84. It might be a little high, mainly because that is a Whopper. And the only thing different is that bun, and the bun wasn't coming through when you eat the entire burger together. But when you eat the bun by itself, this thing, you can taste all of the uh, flavoring of the everything seasoning. So I'm going to stick with that rating. And uh, there you go. Another review in the books. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, please do not forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter. That is social media getting the word of my channel out to the masses. In closing, uh, let me know. What do you think? Do you think this is going to be a hit? Or so? Seven pieces of lettuce has fallen out of the sandwich uh, during this review. During this review, and I haven't even thrown it around. I've just kind of held it normal, and it just falls out. It just kind of slips, slips, sliding away with the uh, mayonnaise. Uh, so that was one detriment as well. Uh, but let me know if you think this is going to work. Let me know if you think this is going to be coming out nationally. And uh, yeah, thanks for joining me. I was happy I was able to get this. And uh, we'll see you soon with some more reviews. Bye.